Eight Course Meal for the Soul by Praveen Agarwal is a thought-provoking and introspective piece of literature that takes readers on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Through its vivid imagery, profound symbolism, and compelling narrative, the poem explores the various facets of human existence and the nourishment that the soul seeks. The poem begins by presenting life as an eight-course meal, a metaphor that immediately engages the reader's imagination. This culinary analogy is a clever choice, as it allows Agarwal to draw parallels between the physical sustenance provided by food and the emotional and spiritual sustenance needed by the soul. Just as a well-prepared meal offers a variety of flavors and textures, life too provides a rich array of experiences, both bitter and sweet. As the poem unfolds, the first course is introduced, disbelief. Here, Agarwal suggests that skepticism is the starting point of our journey through life. It is the first taste we encounter, and it sets the tone for the entire meal. This course represents the doubts and uncertainties that we all face, emphasizing the importance of questioning and seeking truth. The second course, Hope, is described as a salad of life. This imagery conveys the idea that hope is a refreshing and essential part of our existence. Just as a salad cleanses the palate, hope rejuvenates the soul and gives us the strength to persevere in the face of adversity. The poet's choice of a salad also hints at the idea that hope, like vegetables, requires cultivation and nourishment. Next, the poem explores the course of love. Love is portrayed as a dish that is both bitter and sweet, much like the complexity of human relationships. The metaphor of love as a dish suggests that it is an integral part of the human experience, one that can bring both joy and heartache. The inclusion of love in the meal serves as a reminder of its transformative power. The fourth course, failure, is presented as a bitter course. Failure is a universal experience, and the poem acknowledges that it can be difficult to digest. However, Agarwal suggests that failure, like the other courses, has its purpose in shaping our character and teaching us valuable lessons. Success is the fifth course, and it is described as a gourmet delight. This choice of words reflects the idea that success is a rare and exquisite experience. Just as a gourmet meal is savored and appreciated, success should be cherished and celebrated. It is a reminder that life offers moments of triumph and achievement. The sixth course, friendship, is depicted as a comforting and nourishing dish. Friends are likened to spices that add flavor to our lives. This metaphor underscores the importance of social connections and the role of friendship in enriching our experiences. The seventh course, Change, is presented as a spicy and unpredictable course. Change is often challenging to embrace, but it is an inevitable part of life. The use of spice as a metaphor highlights the idea that change can add excitement and variety to our existence. Finally, the poem concludes with the eighth course, Death, which is described as a dessert. This choice of imagery is particularly powerful, as it suggests that death is the culmination of life's experiences, much like dessert is the final course of a meal. While death is portrayed as sweet, it also carries a sense of finality, reminding us of the impermanence of life. Throughout Eight Course Meal for the Soul, Praveen Agarwal skillfully uses culinary metaphors to explore the human experience. The poem encourages readers to reflect on the different courses of life and their significance. It prompts us to embrace both the bitter and sweet moments, as they all contribute to the richness of our journey. Ultimately, the poem invites us to savor the fullness of life and appreciate the nourishment it offers to our souls.